It feels like home, home, home. It feels like home, home, home. It feels like home. Hey there, friends. Welcome to Weldon Home. I have about seven minutes to do a quick video. We've all heard the phrase, jack of all trades, but master of none. Well, that is definitely my life right now. I feel like I'm juggling a ton of balls and they have all fallen onto the ground. And now I'm just trying to collect them and pull them back together and keep running. You know that my husband left his job, if you've been watching, and I have decided to go to work alongside of him. I still need to do dinner. So this morning I've been trying to get dinner done so that when we come home, I've got some bread and some pasta salad and you can see my sourdough bread looks like this today, and it's actually blueberry bread, so it's not supposed to be purely white, but it definitely is not supposed to be this dark, and hopefully it is cooked all the way through. I forgot to lower the oven temperature after I set it in there, so you know, it just feels like one thing after another is collapsing, and I feel the same way about our wonderful nation, and I know that there are so many things going on in the world, I won't even start to try and address those things, but I do feel compelled to look into scripture and just to record that for you. I don't know how many of you spend time daily in scripture, but I will tell you that is the anchor of my life. That is what holds me. That is what secures me. That is how I know that I know that I know that God is going to do something magnificent with this free fall that we're in as a family and as a nation. He is going to do mighty and miraculous things. And they aren't always what we think that they are going to look like. And, uh, my intention here is not to be overtly political, but to just address scripture, how I feel like um, God is leading in these moments for our family. And hopefully as I share those things with you, that testimony will bless you in your walk, in your journey with your family. Um, we're seeing the dismantling of our nation very rapidly. I think at this point, I have been awakened to it only recently, well, since 2020, really myself. But I just see these events just more and more rapid fire coming at us. And I want my family to be ready to be a place of refuge and a place of help and hope for other people. And so I think that's why God has placed us on this homestead and I hope that that will be the case. I think we are definitely in a big war, and I don't mean with the surrounding nations around us. I mean um, the war that is, according to Ephesians 6.12, which says our struggle is not, not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this age. Do we not see the rulers of the darkness of this age in, in great, magnification at this point it's just unbelievable against the spiritual hosts of wickedness in the heavenly places and so when we see all of these things attacking us personally and nationally and really from a worldwide perspective we have to recognize that our battle is not against the people around us and so be mindful of that as you go about today don't allow these things to creep into your relationships with your families but recognize that that we are, that they are your greatest assets and allies. And so we need to arm in arm, lock with each other, shoulder to shoulder and stand and do battle as we should and not with each other, but alongside of each other. And so truly that is why I'm accompanying my husband into the workforce. It's not something that I've ever aspired to do and roofing is certainly not um, my greatest ambition. However, I have done roofing in the past. In fact, I was on a roof the day that our daughter Mary was born. I was helping my husband roof. We had a remodeling business and um, it was a very hot day in August of 19, or sorry, of 2001. And, um, and I began to get really hot and I said, you know, I think I need to go sit down. She came a month early and I had been on a roof that day and that was not something that I would recommend. I didn't have any idea how how crazy that was. My hope is to just highlight scripture as we go through the current events that we're experiencing, even seeing the mm, desecration of probably the most holy of days for Christians. It's, it doesn't come as a surprise to our God and Father. And so because of that, we are to continue to shine the light and hold out the truth 
but recognizing that these are the days that he foretold long, long, long ago. It's so important for us to be daily handling God's words so that we know what he says, asking the Holy Spirit to help us to have wisdom and understanding and discernment to live in these times in the best way that we possibly can. And again, I am so, so sorry if you're only here for recipes. I will be posting recipes and I'll clearly mark that it is going to be a recipe or if it's going to be more scripture or um, current events based, I will try and make that very clear in my, in my um, thumbnails as well. We are, like I said, just getting ready to pack up and my seven minutes are up and I need to hustle and change and get out the door and do some roof door to door knocking and selling. So anyway, I hope you all are having a truly blessed day and enjoying the beauty that's all around us in the things that God has made and look up because our redemption draws near. God bless. Take care and I'll see you on the next video. Also, if you're interested, I will post the recipe for the Mediterranean pasta salad that I made for dinner tonight and it I've tasted it warm and it is spectacular. So if you're looking for something yummy to make that is cool so that you're not overwhelmed, we're 80 degrees today and it's somewhat humid. So um, if you're looking for something yummy for dinner, I'll post that as well. And um, I'll show you how my sourdough looks on the inside and I hope to see you on the next one. Take care.